Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about in this video why calligraphers specifically are usually more expensive than some other larger stationery companies you might be looking at and considering. Okay, so if you are planning on getting married and you are starting the process of looking at stationery for your save the dates, your invitation suites, um, you are probably considering a lot of different vendors. Maybe custom design with a graphic designer, using a calligrapher like myself for custom design invitations, or um, maybe a larger company like Minted um, that has lots of, of invitation designs. Um, and as you're considering these different vendors, you'll probably notice if you're getting proposals and pricing from them that there is a huge range, and that's true of any wedding vendor category. Um, but I get the question a lot from clients um, about why are calligraphers specifically more expensive or why is the what goes into the pricing. Um, and over the seven years that I've been running my business, I've obviously figured out what uh, contributes to the cost of your stationery and why certain things are priced the way they are. So the first uh, difference between using someone like myself, who's a small business owner, an artist, a calligrapher, is versus you know the larger companies, like I said, like Minted, um, for example, is the design itself and what that includes. If you're looking at a company like Minted, um, you will notice that their model is usually offering pre-designed templates to their wedding clients. So, and they're very beautiful. This is not a commentary on the design itself. Um, there are lots of beautiful options and they've got letterpress and foil options, digital printing, they've got everything. And you can go through all their designs, find the one that suits you the best and you can customize it with usually colors and then obviously your information, your name, your wedding location, your date, all of that. Um, but the actual design itself is a template. So it's going to be the same for any client that chooses to purchase it. When you're working with someone uh, who does the design from scratch, like myself as a calligrapher, we are using um, your inspiration and your unique wedding and color palette and all of that to design stationery that is unique to you. So when I have clients that work with me, I'm not looking at previous client work that I've done unless that client has specifically said to me, I'd love to use this as inspiration because I really liked the design you did before. But if not, I'm asking them questions about what's the feel of their wedding. Um, are they looking for uh, elegant stationery? Are they looking for more modern stationery? Uh, where is their wedding being held? What pieces do they need? Do they need detail cards? Do they want a map? Do they want venue illustrations? So everything is done from scratch um, and I'm not using pre-designed templates for my clients to choose from. Because of that, my design fee, which I break out separately for my clients, is high. Um, I take into account how many hours I spend doing the design. On top of that, all calligraphy, and this is true of any calligrapher, all cal calligraphy is going to be done by hand before it is put onto the computer, scanned, and then inserted into the design on the computer for the rest of the layout with typed fonts, usually for the remainder of the invitation design. So that in and of itself takes a lot of time. Um, and calligraphers may use iPads, which speed up the process, or they might use pens, uh, nibs, and holders like this on their normal notepads, which is what I do. So I write everything out by hand first, then I'll scan it, then I'll clean it up, and then I'll continue on with the rest of design. Along those lines is the extra work that goes into the revisions of your design. So I like to point this out because I think in my experience it sets me apart from most other calligraphers or stationers um, and certainly from larger companies is that I don't place a cap on the number of revisions that my clients get for their wedding stationery. Um, most companies will 
give you two, three, four, somewhere in that range uh, number of revisions and then anything past that, if you wanna make more tweaks, um, you pay for those extra revisions. When I first started getting into weddings, my first uh, priority and my main goal, like most people, was to make sure that my clients are 100% happy with their stationery at the end. Um, and I just found that the best way to, do, to achieve that was to give them as much time and opportunity to make changes to their stationery so that at the end of it, they feel completely satisfied and they don't feel stressed or rushed in the process. Um, <clears throat> I find that with caps on revisions, you might look at your first round of designs and not completely love any of it, but you realize you only have two rounds of revisions, so you have to just pick one and settle. Um, and that's not what I wanted for my clients. So my pricing for the design not only takes into account the initial design, which obviously takes a lot of time gathering all the inspiration and information from my clients, but then also takes into account the number of hours that I'm spending um, afterwards on the subsequent revisions. And that's a range. Some clients for me only take three or four revisions, um, but I would say the average number with my clients is going to be somewhere around the seven to nine range. And sometimes I get clients who need 15 revisions, and they're not all major overhauls. They can be very small tweaks along the way, but I find that by doing it gradually and not placing a cap, um, I reduce a lot of stress for clients. And so that number of hours and that labor absolutely plays a part in the design pricing as well. So that's the first one. I think design is approached uh, very differently with larger companies and smaller companies. And then specifically, I am obviously speaking from a calligrapher's standpoint. So using artists such as myself, it's going to, it's going to give you a greater range of pricing, obviously. Within artists and within calligraphers, you will see different pricing also, and that is subjective. Um, my pricing is obviously based off of the years of experience I've had, um, and so if you are looking at a designer who has only been designing wedding stationery for a year, their pricing is probably going to be lower than someone who's been doing it for 10 plus years, um, and that you know that just makes sense. Um, and the quality that you're getting with someone and the experience that you're getting with someone that's been doing it longer, that's what you pay for and that's what their pricing should be reflecting. And any artist, calligrapher, designer would be able to explain that to you if you had any questions about that. Okay, so the second thing that dictates pricing is really your printing costs. And that's how I split up my proposals for my wedding clients. I have a design fee, which we went over, and then I have the printing costs, so they can really see what the actual paper and printing method and assembly and all of that, uh, what those costs look like. Um, with larger companies, there's a lot of variation in terms of how they can price their printing. Now, if there's someone as large as Minted, the sheer volume of, of customers that they get for stationery is huge. So they're able to, whether they're outsourcing their printing to vendors or in-house printing, I'm, I'm not sure which one they, which avenue they take. They may do a combination of both. Regardless, the volume alone allows them to command lower pricing. So they're able to give you much more cost-effective um, prices for traditionally more expensive printing methods like foil, like letterpress, um, because they're printing so many cards at once. Um, for small businesses, calligraphers, designers like myself, we mostly outsource the printing to printing companies because I'm not a printing company. I'm a design company, I'm a calligraphy company, but I am not a printing company. So I have my uh, trusted vendors that I have uh, worked with over the years and um, done many projects with so I can vouch for the quality the professionalism um, that I'm getting from them and then passing on to my clients. And they're the ones that obviously set their printing prices. They're the printers, they get to choose what they charge me for the printing. Um, so I get that printing price from them and then on top of that, in order to make a profit, 
calligraphers such as myself and small business owners will then have a markup on that and that's true of any retail product um, that's just how that works um, the margin of, of that mo of that markup for profit will vary so that varies from artist to artist so once again there's some variability in there and maybe you're looking at a designer whose printing costs are much cheaper than some other ones um, and there's a few reasons for that maybe they found vendors who are giving them great discounts and they're able to pass on those discounts onto their clients or maybe they're getting the same printing prices and pricing as someone like myself but they aren't marking up the cost at all and they're giving themselves themselves a very small profit margin um, but that markup profit percentage is going to be different based on who you're dealing with um, so the printing costs itself are going to be another point of um, pricing variation and it will vary greatly in my experience and, and my research of, of pricing uh, based on the size of the company and even with smaller businesses like myself um, depending on the profit margin that the artist is adding onto the printing cost you could get uh, variations in your total uh, printing prices. The third reason you might see price differences between larger companies like Minted versus smaller companies and designers and calligraphers like myself is the materials um, and the paper that we use for the printing. And so this obviously directly relates to number two with the printing costs. Um, larger companies tend to have more of a range of papers available for their stationery. And so the low pricing that you might be seeing or you might be quoted might be using lesser quality cardstock. Um, and what I mean by that is cardstock that is either not as heavy as nice industry standard cover weight cardstock might be a little bit thinner so it doesn't feel as nice or the actual paper itself maybe has a smooth finish it's not very textured and luxurious feeling um, myself for example for all of my clients I use cotton paper whether that is crane letro which is kind of top of the line industry standard high quality cotton paper or Savoy cotton paper, which I use for digital printing. Um, both of those papers are ones that I have used for years, but after testing out a lot of lesser quality card stocks. Um, and because of that, these are the top professional quality papers that you want to see your stationers using. It's going to cost more than some of the lower price, lesser quality paper. Um, and that's, that's not to say that if you use a larger company, you are getting bad paper. It's of course still fine for printing. Um, however, I do get a lot of clients that come to me after doing their save the dates with company with larger printing companies that they just ordered online a pre-designed template and then they got them and they weren't happy at all with the printing quality the digital printing quality or the paper itself and I've heard that enough times for me to want to mention it in this video um, and they come to me asking for samples and when they get the samples I get comments of wow, this paper is actually very nice. It feels very nice, it looks very nice, the printing quality is great, even all the way from digital up to foil printing. Um, it's all very professional and kind of what we were hoping for from our save the date stationery. Um, and so that's why I like to mention, I think small business owners and calligraphers and uh, one-off designers are, standard for the paper quality I think is a little bit higher because we get to choose what we offer our clients um, and so even though the pricing might be higher it's reflecting a higher quality of material that we're using for the stationery where some of the lower pricing you might be seeing for larger companies online they're lower because the paper is lower quality and lower standard and so they're able to get a lower price those are my top takeaways from running a business for as many years as I have as to why um, 
calligraphers specifically or small business uh, stationery designers might be more expensive than some of the larger companies that you're looking at if you are trying to find wedding invitation suite stationery. Um, now, whenever my clients ask me about pricing, why is it the way it is, like I said, I'm always happy to answer that and whoever you're working with should feel comfortable enough in their pricing to be able to explain to you what you're getting from it, whether that's uh, unlimited revisions, the, the quality of paper that you're getting all of your stationery printed on to make sure that it lasts and it's the, the most professional that they can be offering you, um, or the time it takes to actually do the design. If they're a calligrapher, they're doing everything by hand, it's not typed fonts. So I get that question a lot too about what font is this in your invitation? It's not a typed font, I have to write it all out and that is one of the reasons why my clients choose me. So if you are looking for wedding stationery, my advice to you would be to uh, first come up with a priority list of what is the most important thing to you, whether that is staying within budget. Maybe you, if you have a smaller budget, maybe you do need to go with someone um, or a company that is larger that can give you a beautiful end product for a lower cost. Um, budget if you're prioritizing that or are you prioritizing the custom nature of it are you prioritizing the artwork if you're working with a calligrapher make sure you know their calligraphy style um, you should be hiring them because you love their calligraphy style uh, not because their pricing is a certain point um, people that come to me and want to use me for their wedding stationery do so because they've been following my work and they know what it looks like and they love the calligraphy that I offer, um, which can then be carried into their wedding day of items. Um, but if I get a client who's simply asking, what's the price of this, and they don't care about the printing method, they don't care about the calligraphy, they don't care about what it looks like, that's not always going to be the best fit for me because at the end of the day, my pricing reflects the care taken into custom design and then the amount of time I take doing it. So keep that in mind when you're looking for your wedding stationery. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments um, and I'll see you in the next video.